Welcome, everyone, to the symposium. It's great to see so many of you live again. Uh, we, this, this is a hybrid meeting for the first time. Uh, there are over 700 of you registered, many of you here, thankfully, and the rest are online. So very exciting to have you all back. I hope you enjoy the symposium. Um, but before we start, uh, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about our institute and about the way we work. Because as you may have noticed, uh, we're not really a regular institute at a university. Uh, we are a new paradigm, um, and everything we do uh, is new to us, and is new to you, and is new to the university. So there's a bit of uh, understanding about what we do, and that's why I want to give you this synopsis of what we are about. So um, first of all, our mission is to uh, bring research discoveries to people's lives through therapies. Simple thing to say. How do you do it? Well, we're trying to put academia and industry together and drive forward therapies. That's our mission. It's easy to say. Um, but what do we actually do? Uh, well, we do many things. And our operational model may seem a bit complex. Uh, but it is actually very straightforward. And I'm going to illustrate that on the next slide. So we have two parallel paths to therapeutics. The first involves getting research, researchers uh, to connect with pharma to do joint research leading to therapeutics. And the other is to connect entrepreneurs at the university with investors to do therapeutic startups. Now, if you don't take anything away from my talk, please take away this because these two parts are the pillars of what we do. Everything fits into this. So we do all this in our institute, which is at the Jeffrey Chia Biomedical Center uh, on the biomedical campus. And there we have research labs. And, and what we do there is, in general, three things. We have our own research capabilities in functional genomics and computational biology. We have academics and pharma scientists working next to each other doing joint projects. And we house and support uh, healthcare startups. And these are a bit more detail on the two parallel paths that we have. The first one on the top involves pharma companies. And this involves a therapeutics consortium made up of 11 pharma companies and three academic institutions, shown on the left, uh, and these have signed an agreement to do joint research in Cambridge, funded by the companies. And we have an annual call for research proposals to feed into this. The bottom path involves uh, our own companies, which are in the accelerator start codon and the incubator uh, frame shift. Uh, we mentor these and support them, but also connect them with investors. And this year, we have a new program to connect them with investors, which is called the Company Pitch Day. And this is tomorrow. So here, we will have 14 companies from our institute, from around Cambridge, from abroad as well, uh, presenting to an assembled group of 25 investors that have come specifically to listen to these talks. So this is a pitch day that will be an annual event after the symposium every year. Now, we are not bound by the walls of the Institute. We have extensive reach into the university. Uh, we are connected to the School of Biological Sciences, uh, the clinical school. We are the designated therapeutic hub for the cancer center with over 1,000 researchers. And we are the designated therapeutic hub for Connect Health Tech. This is a new online platform that the university wants us to use to connect with each other. And they also want other people from the outside to look into Cambridge through this platform. So if you go to this platform, you can chat to people, you can set up collaborations, uh, and you can get information. 
Now, anybody can join, so both businesses, business people, and academics can join. So if you haven't, please go and register on this platform. We also have a large network of affiliated organizations. These are uh, biotechs, um, pharma companies, investors, all of which um, take advantage of what we do at the Milner. And this symposium is a reflection of that. Most of these companies are here today. And also we have uh, affiliated institutions and charities that essentially look over our shoulder to understand um, the way we work, uh, our paradigm, and our principles. Because our principles are really very transportable and applicable elsewhere, we know that. And what we intend is to try and get them to be taken up elsewhere, uh, elsewhere in the UK, and also abroad. So that's one of our plans. So finally, what have we done so far? Well, you have to realize that we have been operational for two and a half years, very short time, most of which has been in COVID. Nevertheless, we tried to establish what have we done so far, and we have here measures of success. Uh, the top line goes to both investment, the bottom towards uh, pharma. So if we, I just want to highlight a few things. In the top uh, part on investment, we've had uh, 12 uh, startups going through the institute, and they've had more than 25 million pounds investment in them. On the pharma side, we've had 37 academic industry collaborations set up throughout the university. From 110 um, project proposals, which is quite a high proportion being funded. And these have led to publications, which is very important because we are an academic institution. All collaborations in the consortium lead to publications. But there is a measure that we haven't got here, which we intend to get, which is the impact of these publications and these collaborations on therapies because that's what we are about. We are about making a difference to therapies. That's a measure we cannot tell you about yet because it takes time, but we will capture that at some point. So that's what I want to say. I'd like to leave you with, by saying that we are here for you, and that's the only reason we exist. If you're an academic, pharma, biotech, or investor, we are here to make your research count towards delivery of therapies. So please, Come and see us. Thank you. I'm now going to pass you over to Jean, who will uh, start the first session.